How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about why does your weight scale give you different readings? So this is very simple. Uh, before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, please like the video, share it, follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So there's two different reasons why your scale gives you different read readings. The number one and the most common one is going to be you have a bad scale. If every time you step on the scale and let's say it gives you 180.5, then you step on the scale like 10 seconds later and it says 183. Then you step on the scale again 10 seconds later, it says 178. That is a shit scale. You need to buy a different scale. I will put a link in the description box to a very, very good scale. It's only like 15 or 20 bucks. Very, very good. It's the one I use as well. No, I don't use that one. I use a different one, but this one's way better. So the next time my scale goes, I'm getting this one. So again, link in the description box. So what I always do when I first buy a scale to see if it's accurate is that's what I do. I will, I will uh, step on the scale six times in a minute. Wait. Yeah, about six times in a minute. So what I do is I step on the scale. I then see the reading, I step off, wait five to 10 seconds, step again. Five, 10 seconds, step off, step again. Every single time that scale should read exactly the same reading. So if I'm weighing 182 for the day, should be 182, 182, 182. It should not go 182, 185, 176, 183. It should not do that. If it does that, it's a bad scale, get a new one. Second reason why, because again, this subscriber who asked the question, he said, why does my scale give different readings? I'm not quite sure if he's meaning like every time you step on it, like 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, or if he's talking about why the scale gives different readings throughout the day. If you're getting different readings throughout the day, that is 100% normal, and that is due to water weight. Now, I'll tell you what water weight is. Uh, water weight is your carbohydrate intake, your salt intake, and your water intake or your hydration intake, whatever you want to call it. Those three things make up your water weight. And here's the thing, your water weight can go up or down by anywhere from six to eight pounds a day. So if one day you weigh 181 and the next day you weigh 179, the next day you weigh 184, 177, it's 100% water weight. That's the number one mistake people make when they are losing weight. Um, they think, Oh, I've lost six pounds in three days. No, you haven't. It's your water weight. Because what happens when you start a new diet, naturally your carbohydrate intake is going to go down because most healthy foods are low in carbs. So your water weight drops because of your carbohydrate intake. With less carbs, uh, generally carbs are bad carbs are high in sodium. So by having healthier carbs, healthier carbs are lower in sodium. So you just lowered your sodium intake. By having less salt, you're not gonna drink as much water. So you just lowered your water intake as well. So you've literally lowered all three components of your water weight. That's easily gonna drop six to eight pounds. That's why people think, oh, I've lost six pounds in three days. No, you adjusted your water weight in three days. That is exactly what I do when I am competing at powerlifting. If you look right here, I have a first place medal in powerlifting. I got another first place in powerlifting for my provincials. Now, one thing that I do with my powerlifting, I don't compete anymore, but I did for four years. Um, what I did for my powerlifting is exactly the same as the water weight. What I did is I lowered my carbohydrate intake, which naturally lowers my sodium, which naturally lowers my water intake. So generally I sit at roughly 190 pounds first thing in the morning. What I do is two days before my powerlifting competition, I drop my carbs, my water, and my sodium. What happens is when I go to a powerlifting meet, um, generally if I'm 100, if you're 190 pounds, you have to compete in the 93 kilograms, which is 205 pounds or less. So what I do is I get to 182. Now I can compete in the 83 kilogram, which is 182.6 and below. So the competition in 182 is way easier than the 205. In the 205, the top deadlifter could be deadlifting like 700, 720 pounds. Top deadlifter in the 82 kilograms was me. I was deadlifting 630 pounds. So 
That is a little tip that you can do is your water weight. And that is why your scale is giving you different readings throughout the day. It's hundred percent water weight. It doesn't mean anything. Um, I recommend though, that you don't mess around with your water intake or your salt intake. Um, if you naturally lower your carbs, your salt intake will go down, but don't forcefully try to lower your salt or your water that can, um, you'll screw up your electrolyte balance and having being dehydrated, it's very dangerous as well. So don't mess around with that. Uh, sodium, you need at least 1500 milligrams of sodium per day. So make sure you're getting that water. I recommend at least two to three liters per day of water. Carbohydrate intake really doesn't matter. You can eat zero grams or 10 grams per day. It really doesn't matter. You don't, carbohydrates, you don't actually need to survive. Protein and fats, you need to survive. If you don't have a protein or a fat, you will die. So it's as simple as that. That's why your weight scale is giving you different readings, either because you have a crappy scale or because your water weight is fluctuating throughout the day. So again, I will put a link in the description box to a very good uh, weight scale that you can purchase. Uh, go ahead, check that out. And yeah, that's pretty well the end of the video. I hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, hopefully I did answer your question, subscriber. Uh, please like the video, share it. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Thanks again, everyone. I do appreciate the support.